Hello, you wonderful people. This is Marvel's Exa, and this is more Hollow Knight. And let's um, adjust our charms when we get there, shall we? Rather than doing it right now, in the last episode, we saw the true ending to the game. Beating the Radiance, first try. I'm, I have no idea what's up with that. With uh, beating the Radiance and Nightmare King Grin, first try. And uh, failing so hard on so many other things. I don't know. But um, we also did the Delicate Flower Quest. And uh, really, the less said about that, the better. Now, there's um, really only two things we need to do in Hollow Nest before we move on and do the Godmaster content. Which, as I've said, is of course where the real fight begins, yada yada yada. Yeah. First of those things... ...is the Colosseum. And that's where we're headed right now. Also killing these things for the um, purposes of uh, Hunter's Journal. I might um, go through with filling that out completely. Obviously not showing all the footage in an episode or anything like that because um, it's quite a long tedious process but probably to be included in a bonus episode at some point. Okay, so um, take our delicate flower quest charms off and put on something that'll help us for, the, uh, for this long, long, long combat trial. I think Quick Slash is pretty much a given. Um, then either Shaman Stone or Unbreakable Strength. Potentially both, maybe. Could both be useful. Um, well, actually, it's probably two from Shaman Stone, Unbreakable Strength, um, Mark of Pride. I mean, we could have both of the, uh, both Shaman Stone, Unbreakable Strength, and long nail. Um, that does mean with like without rub song or nail master's glory or any of the other like good uh, single slot charms. But um, I think we probably do want at least one of the um, nail lengthening charms because um, there are bits that do require some pretty tricky pogoing to happen. So, um, hmm. the question is Shaman Stone or Unbreakable Strength then, I guess. Um, well, if we're going for the Mark of Pride, let's um, try Nail Focus first, I guess. See how that how that works for us. Ooh. We um yeah, trial of the fool, fight for Geo, and the glory of being a fool. Place a mark and begin the trial. Absolutely. Um. Little weird uh, loading thing there. Right. 
bring it on, nerds. I've uh, also just uh, kind of thought, yeah, probably um, one of those um, single slot charms should almost certainly have been Steady Body. Oh well, whatever. Uh, game. I was already doing the um, the ground pound there. Okay, yep, spawning right out in front of me. Why not? Yeah, it's weird to not have the um, super powerful spells, but uh, what can you do? Oh, crumbs. Yeah, I've absolutely had enough of those guys. Um, is there another one here? Yeah, there is. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot about this section. It just uh, bombards you with exploding bats. Oh, yeah, those are new. Not seen these guys before. Okay, you can't, um change their course by hitting them with the nail. Oh, that got both of them. That was pretty good. I'm not sure if Nail Master's... Um, I think Nail Master's Glory is pretty much just the charging time and um, doesn't affect how big the um, hitbox is. I'm not sure if anything does, if like uh, it's if they're also affected by um, Mark of Pride or what have you. I'm just gonna use this opportunity to heal while this dude above us is extremely confused about life. Um Oh yes. Got the add garpeds. Well the um the sound of them isn't as overbearing as it is in Deep Nest, so I um, don't think I'm going to do any edi editing that um, to be quieter. Oh, okay, yeah, when you get hit, you lose your um, charge for the nail art. Okay. Yeah, two for one. Oh, God. Oh, he's charging. Okay, okay. Try this another one. Oh, yeah. You guys. Who's next? Um, I guess there must be some more of those uh, little splat guys hidden in the... Um, yeah. Okay, the nail arts, um, if you hit an enemy, it does... Oh my goodness! It does um, charge your soul just as much as um, hitting it normally would. And uh, this is a slight variation on the um, those last dudes. That one, uh, well, didn't see it, but it creates a path of electricity that follows you around. Kind of uh, like how Umu did, uh, the boss did, the uh, big jellyfish in the um, teacher's archives. That was guarding Monomen. Oh, for God's sake. I am trying to heal. Leave me alone. Right? You done now? Oh. Not naive enough to think we're anywhere near done with the uh, 
with the trial. But, uh, oh my god, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sends in a boss after you, the brooding Morlek. Bye bye, brooding Morlek. Oh, yeah. Um. I don't think this is quite... Yeah, I think actually this here, this is the hard bit of the run. Yeah, the no floor section. These guys are also a real pain. my god. How am I doing this all? I, 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 I am so confused. Oh, I guess, the, I guess nail outs are just really that good and I've just been overlooking them for so long. Like, I think that is like the uh, no floor section as well because like I don't think there is another one and that's like um, as far as I can remember like the problem part of the run although just dealing with a bunch of enemies whose uh, main thing is bouncing there and you know how I feel about those oh my goodness Oh, get off, get out, get out of here. Okay, okay. There's just this uh, slow shielded chump left. Let's uh, use the opportunity to catch our breath. thought that hit him, but um, shows what I know, I guess. Oh, come on. Why is this guy such a pain? Oh, great. Um, I'm going to try and uh, heal the best I can at this moment, because it's just this uh, big slug dude. Hey, 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 get out of here. Dude. Alright, fair enough. Okay. Ooh. Quite happy with that little maneuver there. I do say so myself. I don't like this um, being trapped in the corner here though at all. I do once again like being down to nothing but a shield chump because they are the perfect opportunity to heal. And okay. Now farm a little bit of soul off of them as well. Probably all I need, I think. Let's go. Oh, this is um, it's the final boss, isn't it? Hello. Yeah. 
the God Tamer. I think this is actually is um one of the bosses in the game that's um Kickstarter backer content. Cool. And when you kill the um the beast. The main fighter just gives up. Uh if you kill her, the beast carries on. And also, yeah, um first goddamn try. Yes. Yes. Um. So anyway, with that, anything really left to do in Hallow Nest is go to the path of pain. more into the white palace um, yeah I have already um, broken the wall to it but oh yeah of course it doesn't immediately become obvious still it's um yeah yeah we need um Bench, 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 bench. Um, where bench? Of course, no map for the area. Probably should have just done this. Um, what? <laughs> Probably should have just uh, adjusted my charms outside. Oh, it's right there here. Okay. Don't need unbreakable strength. Probably don't need quick slash. Uh, Mark of Pride's, of course, very useful. For doing the old bouncing. Uh, we keep Grub Song, obviously. We add Deep Focus. And what else? Um, hmm. These again are all like. Um, Mostly combat charms. We could go for um, Long Nail as well as Mark of Pride to uh, give us even more wiggle room with uh, Nail Poe going off things. I think I like that. Should take like one extra thing that is actually for combat. I don't know. Because there is some combat involved. Not a lot, but some. I think Nail Master's Glory served us very well. Right. Let's, uh,. Let's do this, it's time for some pain. <laughs> yeah, we've um, already read that, but uh, read it again. To witness secret sealed, one must endure the harshest punishment. Yep, 
<laughs> and uh, it's immediately starting the um, the music that was playing in the final phase of the uh, fight against the Hollow Knight. Kind of lending a bit of credence to the um, idea that um, the White Palace and um, everything around here is the way it is, like uh, full of buzz saws specifically, as um, entirely like a, a form of a, a test for the vessels to see which one would be chosen. And strong enough to be the Hollow Knight. And may well get something more at the end that kind of um, lends credence to that again. goodness and yeah you may see the issue one the issue here in, in all of this first part there are no floors okay that was a good save <laughs> So, uh, what else can we talk about here? More on the, um... Oh my god. <laughs> on the nature of the White Palace, I guess? Um, we, of course, got here by um, entering the mind of um, one of the guards, one of those King's Molds. And... Earlier, there was the uh, conversation with Relic C. Kalem about how it just seemed to uh, just completely disappear one day. Like, no signs of battle or struggle or anything. It's just gone. So, um. Not entirely clear. It's not like, um. any outright answers, but. go. Yeah, no outright answers, but um, don't know whether it's like just disappeared from some other way or if it has just been like completely moved, like shifted dimensions in entirely into the dream world as like um, a way that the uh, Pale King decided to protect it. Oh, and also like a gameplay thing. These Hollow Knight Soul Totems are infinite, so don't worry too much about uh, having enough soul in these areas. But yeah, um, about whether this is like the real palace or if it is just like a memory of the palace. And so like by extension, whether the king we found at the top is like the real king or just a memory of it of him and if it is if he is in fact the the real king stuck in the uh, dream realm does this mean he's uh, properly dead well we know the fact that um, he's a uh, died and reincarnated and changed shape at least once before in um oh god how do I do this okay um in becoming the pale king in the first place from being uh the worm the cast off shell in kingdom's edge
Oh my goodness. Um, so I definitely need to bounce on that when it's all the way to the left so I can get onto that wall, I think. My goodness. So yeah, this is um why I took a uh, grub song and uh, deep focus. Because um being hit by obstacles twice basically does charge up enough for you to heal twice. The, um, that was the king, and this form of them is dead. What happened to them now? And have they taken on a new form? Gone to start, uh, try and start a new kingdom? Oh my goodness. Almost had it there. But, um... Yeah, oh dear. There was a game theory video on it. Um, that subject about, like, who is the knight. Claiming that... The knight is no ordinary vessel, like the rest of them, that they are some kind of reincarnation of the Pale King, but um, there's reasons why that doesn't work. I kind of a bit mind flooded to uh, try and search the back of my brain for the explanations of that right now, because, well, just look where I am. <laughs> Look what is currently surrounding me. But, um... Mossbag has, uh, some... Has a good video on it, I think. They're like, um... If you don't know, they're basically like the Vati Vidya of Hollow Knight. Which is... A bunch of, uh... Lore videos. They're easily understandable. Well presented. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, uh... Cannot allow ourselves to get tilted here. There we go. Uh, I'm not sure if this is... That looks like I'm going to hit the top one, I think. Or not. I'll just hit that one, I guess. Yeah. I especially love how there was, um, there, how there was something I could have done about that, and there was a way that I could possibly have seen it coming. Well, they don't call it the path of pain for no reason, do they? Okay, so do I bounce off of the middle ones? Like, because... Not only do I not see what I'm supposed to do there... Like, I don't see what's coming up either. 
Yep, there's a higher one as well, isn't there? Uh, we're nowhere near done, by the way. Path of Pain is long, and, as the name would suggest, painful. Ah, oh, God. This is kind of, um, really knocked the wind out of my sails, this section. I've been like, um... My mind was kind of like, oh yeah, I was just kind of breezing the first bits. Nope. Get right back down to uh, where you belong. If you want to go when the top one is away. Oh my god. Um, not gonna lie, a lot of the... Um, watching this next section is actually just going to be me figuring out what to do. It's not a question of execution here, it's a question of I literally have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Like, for almost every other situation in both the White Palace and the Path of Pain, it's almost always at least clear what it wants from you, what the game expects from you, what you have to do. This room is, um... Okay, yeah. You just wanted me to bounce to the end, so bounce I shall. think what that did. Yeah, this is uh, a room we've been already. Did a little loop and I think opened, yeah, opened this gate. So that's somewhat of a shortcut. I believe that's the only thing, even in the same territory as a shortcut, that we are going to get during this whole ordeal. Remember, this room's pretty tough as well. well actually, I could, um, you could just copy-paste that for any of these rooms, because they're all pretty tough. It is the path of pain. This is all absolutely inane commentary. But... I kind of have to keep going. I'm not sure if it's helping me focus or hindering me focus, but... All I know is that breaking with habit right now is going to cause a bit of a shock to the system, you know? Okay. So... I think there are actually kind of like um, multiple ways to do this. Like, the objective here is just go up. And, yeah, just because I'm currently failing at it doesn't mean that what I said isn't true, without there being multiple ways to do it. Um, how long does that take to come down? Decent amount of time. Okay. Uh, so from there, do I want to just kind of duck under and go to the little channel on the right? Or do I try to go further up that same way? Now there is thorns right there, so I'm going to guess duck under. That's uh, served as well, it seems. Uh, just kind of... um. Bounce here to... Oh, my God. I can say bounce there to collect my thoughts and figure out what I have to do to go forward, but, um, guess not. 
mean, that is kind of an active thing to be doing when um, it's kind of a, a thing that's supposed to be keeping your brain almost like in a little, little idle state ticking along. But, um, whatever. Well, it's not keeping the brain in an idle state, it's kind of, um, trying to keep the character in an idle state while you kickstart your brain to try and figure out what's um, coming up. It is um, a fairly big thing to be focusing on whilst you're um, doing so. Okay, that was just a bit discombobulating. Accidentally um, bouncing and dashing off the wrong part. My god. Okay. Uh, other than that, that wasn't a bad run there. I remember when we get to the top, the next bit isn't that bad. A lot of um, crystal dash flying. But um, it also kind of means more downtime than you're used to in these sections. As, uh, <laughs> as your character flies for a couple seconds. Okay. Just waiting for a good time to go, you know? Not right. It's not ready yet. Oh, God damn it. That's a very tough little thing to do, that. Duck underneath it and uh, double jump up to the other side. Maybe I'd be better off served um, trying to bounce off one of those fans in, uh, not fans, bounce off one of the uh, saws instead. Not entirely sure. Oh my god. So uh, hopefully that's not going to be what the entirety of the uh, commentary is from now on. But um, not making any promises. And you've already seen what it's devolved into so far. I say that. As if my commentary on any of these videos was ever any good to begin with. We all know that's not the case. Okay, almost had it there. Um, that's a tricky one, isn't it? Okay. Okay, thankfully those were some fairly easy ones. Just a, a couple of um, buzzsaw wall jumps to cool down with before we start the next section. Yeah, I love this. Love um, bouncing on these dudes. Could do it all day long.
Oh my god. Okay, so I think after this section there's maybe two more significant bits. I don't know. Maybe that's just wishful thinking though. My god. I fall there, I guess. Oh my god. Come on. It's not the, um... I think I'm getting slightly more tilted just by the fact that um, a bit leading up to that bit where I constantly die, like all this uh, crystal dash bounce off the dude sections, it's not hard, it's just uh, kind of time consuming. Which is um, kind of one of the issues of um, that I had in my first playthrough doing like the last Colosseum as well it was like it was only like the um the bit without a floor that I really had any trouble with but getting all the way up to that part was a pain like it was just like I've done this how many times now and you just want me to keep doing it how many more times do we need to prove I can do it you know and uh also to be honest, like, the fight with the Hollow Knight is that as well, really, because you do need to kill the Hollow Knight every time you want to take on the Radiance. And so you have, like, this situation where what's supposed to be a big, kind of, emotional, climactic um, boss fight moment, it's, like, you're supposed to feel really bad about doing it, but, like, just becomes little more than a speed bump. It kind of um, ruins a lot of the emotion into the, in, that you would otherwise be invested in the fight. A lot of those uh, issues are going to be relevant and even more, even more so, when we get to Godmaster. <laughs> because who boy does that DLC love making you do the easy bits over and over and over again when it's only the last bit that's a problem. mistimed with those spikes there. So I'm pretty sure actually that this is actually the last section. That's why the um, music has swollen so much to such a big crescendo. Oh, almost got there. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
That was um, poor timing there on my part. Um, what? <laughs> what was I even thinking there? My god. Clearly nothing. But that's all I should be thinking. Nothing. No mind to think. No will to break. Be a good little vessel. Oh my god. Ah, oh, that was the hardest part as well. We got under it and threw it away. Still, that's encouraging, I guess. Yep, that um, saw takes longer to come back than I thought it did. Having the extra long nail. You know, some people tell you nail length doesn't matter. It does. Like that time. <laughs> we got them all the spikes were like still underground. I have no idea how, but um, this new tech has basically just blown my mind. Oh my god. I'm so close. I'm so close. I can, I can feel it. It's right there. I can reach out. I can touch it. I can t feel it. I can taste it. It's victory. It tastes amazing. Okay. Use the, the waiting points. Almost. Well, actually, yeah, I don't know. That's, that actually kind of looked miles away. But, um. I don't know. I'm bounced off of that saw, and I'm guessing counting that as a victory now. Which, um might be some measure of how far away we actually are. You can still taste it though. I have a very rare gift that I can taste things despite them being very far away. Oh my god. I hope this weird, like, a uh, stream of consciousness, like, a uh, path of pain and suffering has uh, been at least somewhat entertaining. Oh my god. Like, uh... <laughs> well, I'm saying that as if I'm about to finish, I mean... We've already seen how far away the victory actually is. Come on, come on, come on. I believe. I believe. I believe I can get there. I can do this. I also believe in a thing called love. Just listen to the rhythm of my heart. Is a chance I can make it now. We'll be rocking till the sun goes down. Oh 
Oh my god. Oh my god, no! I just need one simple bounce on that saw when it's on the other side. That's all I need. Never wanted anything as much as I want that right now. Don't go on that one. Oh my god. Ah, it comes and goes so quickly. Such a rude saw. It's going back and forth, only ever thinking of itself. But what about me? What about my needs? Just so inconsiderate. Like, I need that saw, I need to be able to bounce on it, but does the saw consider that? No. goes to the other side as quickly as it came. It's so, so rude. Ah! I'm so mad right now. <laughs> Oh my god. But we're getting there. We're getting there much more consistently now. It's possible. Well. Kind of an, an, an inane thing to say. I know it's possible. I've done it, uh, done it twice before. Oh my god. No, we don't heal that. I bet this is going to be the time we freaking do it as well, isn't it? And get to the end without full health. Well, we'll have full health. We just won't have full health and full soul. No. Okay. If anything, um, hitting the thorns there was a blessing. A wonderful, pointy, painful blessing. Thank the Thorns for their service. Nope. Hmm. Felt bad from the moment I let, um, let go and stop bouncing on those spikes there. You know, the bonking my head's on the uh, Thorns on the ceilings. Those ones always feel the worst, you know? Because it's like... They're almost not even like real obstacles. <laughs> it's like every single time that you do that, it's entirely self-inflicted. And you have to spend a brief period of time reflecting on um, how you completely did that to yourself. You did. And that's what really hurts. You did it to yourself. Just you. You and no one else. Oh my god. Even my little, um, friendly waiting spikes betrayed me that time. What is going on? Everybody betrayed me. I'm fed up with this world.
Oh my god. <laughs> No! <laughs> Come on! Still, at least now I know you can bounce on that saw at the end. That's knowledge. That's um, valuable info for the completing of this final section. It is going to help. It will assist us in getting there to the end has helped move the needle the needle has been moved it is now closer to the end there we go yeah, just as a final screw you. Two of these dudes. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah! God damn. I did not even notice that the walls of this place were spikes. That... not died to those jerks in either of my previous runs i'm not about to start now i can only imagine how absolutely soul crushing that must be anyway claim my rewards so once again that's the pale king and the hollow knight looking like they're kind of reenacting the everything the light touches is our kingdom bit from the lion king many choices for what you could say that shadowy bit that we must never go to uh, is um never go to deep nest obviously you never go to where you were born uh to the abyss but uh let's watch little glance little glance back And we get something added to our Hunter's Journal for that. For the life of me, remember what, but... Uh, it's probably something at right at the bottom. But, yeah. That little, uh... Father-child glance there. Yeah, I think this is at the seal of binding. Um... Yeah, more on the whole, um tarnished by an idea instilled kind of thing. Hollow Knight wasn't entirely empty. They've shown compassion for the siblings and their father. In fact, cut content um, originally um, in the fight with the Hollow Knight, could uh, dream nail them, and they would say father. No, oh, yeah, that was cut for a reason, but still interesting things to think about. As Salubra comes up and um, yeah, <laughs> kind of ruins the mood again. Ideas instilled that gave the um, the radiance and the infection something to latch onto in the mind because it was not completely blank, and thus the infection started leaking again. Now, 
if we were to replace the Hollow Knight? Who could say? If we are, in fact, also tarnished by an idea instilled, or if our character truly is Hollow? I don't know. I'd say um, some of our actions in the game so far have kind of supported us having some kind of a will, so therefore we will have a will to break. I'm not entirely sure if you could say the knight themselves has shown compassion for other other bugs. Players definitely supposed to, but uh, whether this is supposed to extend to your character or not, who can say? It's all kind of academic now that we can actually just go into the Hollow Knight's mind and kill the Radiance that way easily enough, but um, stuff that's worth thinking about anyway. So, with that, I believe I'll put a cut in here. I think that's everything. Uh, well, actually, no, technically not everything, everything there is to do in Hallow Nest. Um, kind of the challenging things, anyway. Uh, still got to, like, um... The only thing coming to mind right now is talking to Mr. Mushroom in all the different places. So, um, that'll be definitely something we have to do. Um, that's kind of feels very bonus episode materially, re though, doesn't it? Um, as does the um, extra levels of um, White Defender and Grey Prince Oat. So, with that all out of the way for now, I'll join you back here next time, or I guess the first episode of Godmaster content. Might be looking forward to it. Until then, I've been Marv Alexa, this has been Hollow Knight, with the Colosseum and the Path of Pain. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. See ya!